Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in this box? It's a pretty small box here. This is Robotech Force of Arms from Solar Flare Games, of course licensed from Harmony Gold. This is based on the Macross saga of Robotech. It is a card-driven game, and that's about all I know about this. So I am Motus on the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. For those of you here on YouTube, you can just click the little info button up here to get a link to that. The other thing you'll find a link to is our Patreon account, where if you appreciate this video, you can tip the bellhop. So this is a game for, first off, I do have to thank Solar Flare Games for sending me a copy of this game to check out. So this is, take on the role as either the Brave Robotech Defense Force or the Warrior Zentradi. You and your opponent maneuver your warships and deploy your forces, endeavoring to gain supremacy. With fearless heroes in commands, you can turn the tide of battle in your favor. Will you defend the Earth as the valiant RDF, or will you attempt to destroy the Earth, capture the SDF-1, and recover the secrets of protoculture as the giant Zentradi? So I'm just going to crack the shrink on this right now, and then we're going to move over to my table here, and we'll be able to show you what you get in this box. So here you have the Robotech Force of Arms box. Again, this is a very small box game. Not a large box at all. Take a look at what we get inside. We're going to start right off with the Fleet Commander Handbook, which is, I have to assume, our rule book. Some really nice Robotech art here already, as to be expected. Lots of text, not a lot of examples. There we go, there's a nice full page layout showing what you can expect. This looks interesting. I know nothing about this game, I gotta admit. I am a huge fan of Robotech though. We're definitely featuring the main characters from the cartoons. Um, and we're at the credits. So we are looking at a grand total of 15 pages of rules. Uh, no reference. Hey game companies, use the back for a quick turn summary, something. Use this space. Next we have punch boards, nice and simple. We have punch boards showing plus ones, some red and green symbols, two-sided, same thing on both sides. And we have a bunch more punch boards with plus shields and plus targets. Probably addition to attack and addition to defense would be my guess, not knowing anything about the game. Then we got a pack of cards. And some baggies, that's always nice. Baggies to put the punch boards once we punch them. We got a significant stack of cards here. That is not a small, not a small stack. I'm gonna rip the shrink off this. That was nice and easy to open. Thank you. And we have cards, all kinds of cards. Not knowing anything about the game, I'm gonna see if I can separate these into piles and see what we get. So there's definitely some reference cards. So we have a reference card with the game phases. So obviously we have a tactical phase, a token phase, hero command phase, and a scoring on the back. We have a reference for all the tokens do. Okay, so now we know what those symbols were. Those are Proculture, Shiplock, and Spies. There are two of those. This is a two-player game. Uh, we have ads for other Titan Comics advertisement here, showing off a Robotech great-looking artwork. Then um, I already showed these off, but we'll show them off again. We have a reference card showing what the various tokens do, as well as on that side showing the game phases. Um, then we do have some ads for some other games that I am going to unbox tonight. So we have Robotech Invid Invasion coming soon to a store near you with a story. Which if you stick around, I'm going to be unboxing that. And Robotech Crisis Point, which I am also going to take a look at tonight. If you're not here live, you'll be able to check those out on YouTube. Then we have a number of cards. We are divided into a Zentradi deck and an RDF deck. Backs of the cards are nice. I gotta say, these cards are, I don't know if I can get it in the video here to show off. There's a nice linen finish to the cards. You can kind of see it there before the blue takes over. And then we have the great looking artwork on the cover here for Rick Hunter. And there are way too much blue in Robotech. I need to find a character with no blue on them. Lisa's got a little less blue. So again, artwork right from the TV series, obviously. This is your stack of RDF cards. It's a significant stack there. And then in addition to all the characters, we also have 
stuff like the SDF-1. And there should be some across or some armor, full berth. Oh, to be honest, there's different backs here. All right, my bad. So we have a bunch of RDF cards. These are all characters. Now this is a mix, so espionage. There's another really nice SDF-1 pick. Flip weapons, we've got secret weapon card. We got some battleoids. There's another really nice looking battleoid. Destroids as well. And then we have cards that say Robotech Force of Arms on them, which are different. So these say Force of Arms, these are horizontal. We have Empty Space. We have Zentradi Ships. All of these. Oh no, there. Now we have some RDF ships as well. Then we're going to grab the Zentradi deck quickly, take a look at what we get in there, and wonder if I got the same thing. All Zentradi cards this time? Okay, all Zentradi cards this time. I'm going to throw out a few of these. Great looking artwork here. Again, if fans of the show, you're going to recognize. Of course, you have all kinds of battle pods, officer battle pods, and then we get into the actual characters. More battle pods. Britai, of course. And so on. And that's it. There's not a lot here to look at. Um, not that I expected much more. It's a card-driven game. What do you expect in a card-driven game except a bunch of cards? So again, we have the RDF cards these Entrati cards, and then a pile of Force of Arms cards. As well as a bit of reference and advertisements, and that is it. We're going to toss all of this back in the box. We do have some baggies and some tokens as well, which I showed off in the first half of this video. And we're going to put the rule book on top, because I am looking forward to checking this game out. Step one is going to be to read the rules. So we're throwing those on top. This back together. Force of Arms. All right. There you have it. What you get in Robotech Force of Arms from Harmony Gold and Solar Flare Games. A uh, two-player only card game in the Robotech universe. Particularly playing through the events of the Macross or Macross saga. I'm really looking forward to checking this one out as a huge Robotech fan. I grew up with Robotech. Some of my first anime experience. Love the characters. Love the story. Really looking forward to checking out this game. So I got to thank Solar Flare Games for sending me a copy to check this one out. Uh, Playtime 20 to 30 minutes. Two players only. This one probably won't take long for me to review. And when I do that, it'll happen over at TabletopLHop.com. So those of you on YouTube can find a link to right up in the corner here. Um, at TabletopLHop.com, you'll be able to find all kinds of other gaming content, including reviews and answers to your gaming questions. If you've got a question for the Tabletop Bellhop, send it to questions at TabletopLHop.com. And for answers to those questions, you can find those on the blog, and you can find them on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatchers everywhere. One final thing before I go, if you dig this video, be sure to tip your bellhop at Patreon.com slash TabletopBellhop, which you can also link up here. For the Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano. Good night and game on.